we requested what happened five years ago again we started the process after the county government came and did um, the, the sewer line sewer line wakatengeneza juu ya drainage ya kutoa maji the main exit ya itakaranda estate meaning that maji imefungiwa kukinyesha kidogo maji narudi kwa manyumba za watu inaja inaribu vitu tukaanza kufuatilia tukafuatilia tukafuatilia haikuwa inawezekana eventually when the MCA came to come we have been following up on this matter can you assist us akasema yes sisi we are learned people we don't uh, we don't deal physical discussion so we wrote down the first thing you need to address is the drainage system which was vandalized it was okay but it was vandalized so he said he's going to assist fast forward two years in his position a matter that was supposed to be done immediately it has never been done it has never been done the first problem was that drainage drainage mpaka leo hatujapata usaidizi imechukua hatua sisi kujichukua tujipeleke county headquarters huko hata wako na information yet county ya hapa wako na all that information lakini kwa sababu wana sisi wa, wanaongeleshwa wanatukanyagia tushinde tukiteseka we went to their headquarters we got assistance from the director in charge of that office akatuma watu hapa when those people came walitumwa from head office walikuja hapa kupewa threats na wakarudi hapa kutuambia so me i'm sitting and asking is our local lower savanna and siebona magoba above the law above the county government above the dcc office above the ocpd office kawezi atasikiza the chief sisi tuendele kugandamika hapa tukiteseka ini msimu ya mvua imeanza manyumba za watu zimeanza ku flood tena because we said we even i even called him and i told him wacha tuchange ataka mani elfu sita manini tukuje tujichimbie drainage because it is outside the gate tukienda kuchimba tutashikwa wale tunalipa we are kenyans we are paying we are taxpayers these are people who are being paid by the government to help us but their work is plain and simple instead of doing the job they have been told to do they are making work in difficult for us au ndio wana create shida then uio shida isitendeke lazima twende tuwalambe miki this must stop and it has to stop this lower savanna jakaranda protested and we are addressing the current mca bona magoba kama hawezi saidia jakaranda tell him to start to step aside naacha tufuate sheria vile tunafuata sasa hiyo ni barua ya county ime expire because of their delay hii ni barua ya county ime expire because of their delay na sasa up to now yeye ndio unaona he has the muscle in this country because it seems you are living in a lawless country he is the MCA he is untouchable he cannot be arrested for breaking the law alikuja kakuta tuko na barua tunachimba vizuri tumefuata directives tuko na maofisa wa county hapa tuko na chief tuko na DCC instruction tumeambiwa tuanze kazi because he is just a simple MCA atakuja na weke statement now i want you to understand this way our nihoka why are they here he needs to tell us so koya no savanna iko api achukua wapeleke now what is his vested interest with the hoka because even them being here they are paying kuna watu wanalipa walipe illegally waendelee kuvunja sheria kukaa because watalindwa na NCA kuvunja sheria ya nchi lakini wewe na mimi tukivunja sheria kufungwa tutafungwa na kamiti tutaenda lakini politician hakuna kali anapelekwa so this must stop na nimemwambia barabara itatengenezwa county imesema itatusaidia bara hii hapa tutatengeneza maua tutapanda drainage lazima itatengenezwa na yao wanatengeneza because they are the ones who spoil it na there will, there will be no more and see interference on jakaranda matter this has to come to a stop and i'm saying today today it must come to a stop in the barua disemba tatutengenezea drainage as we speak the residents who are very angry kwa sababu kitu zao zimeharibika mwingine alihab kujua viti zimeoza tukachukua hizo picha mpaka manyumba vile zimeloa tukampigia picha additional to that tutazunguka hapa jakaranda grounds tutaona hiyo siwa line wametufungia wa siwa line maji maji ya mvua haiwezi pita then now hiyo hiyo siwa line walitengeneza sijui ama ni watu wanalipa hapo wanachukua mawe za mtengo wanarusha siwa line wakirusha siwa line drainage ya jakaranda choo inafunga 
kazi yetu kama committee ni kushinda tukichangisha residents watoe pesa tunaenda kulipa tushinde tukitengenezewa what kind of nonsense is that then when we ask for help we are being asked to give a lot of exorbitant money like this instance the reason we are very angry hapa na residents wengine hawajui leo nitajua that Jakaranda estate was asked to pay 1.8 million to some people here ndio tutikisho kutengeneza hapa lakini because you cannot afford 1.8 million that's why we are being harassed wewe rudisha uwa here is the letter so we are really getting tired and time has come for local politician waitikie ile pesa wanalipo na serikali na watosheke nayo na waache kunyanyasa wa Kenya na leo sitetei Jakaranda Kote State peke yake hapa kuna mpaka majirani wetu hapa wamekuja kutunga mkono na leo ndio ninasema hivi hata hao hokas wanatolewa nilikuwa tulikuwa tumesema hata tunaambia hizo ofisi zingine kuna pahali wanaweza pelekwa kwa nini hawapelekwi sasa MCA yeye ndio area alichaguliwa na wakaji wa hapa aambie leo aende aonyeshe media soko ya loa savana iko wapi na kama wame grab aende aka deal nao alaache kule tashida za land grabbing into jakaranda contest it this has come to an end na ukweli yaambiwe kutoka leo sasa So today is today. Kazi yetu itatandika. Tukitaka kufanya kitu kama Jakaranda Estate, tutakuwa tukifanya. Tutakuwa tukifanya, tutakuwa tukiuziwa uoga. Tunaambia tutadungwa visu. Leo tulikuwa tumeambia kuja mtu atalala mochari. Mtu atalala mochari, that you own a house in Jakaranda. That you know the pain of buying a house and watching your house be split before somebody wants to give back. It is go it has to stop. It has to stop. So whatever the matter, hiyo inafanya akuje hapa kutuburuka. Alisema atasaidia hatusaidii sasa yeye ndio amekuwa adui wa Jakaranda Protest. He needs to stop. And I want in my closing I want to ask a simple question. How much does it cost kutengenezea watu drainage ya chalk that we have to use five years? Tushindage huko. These are committee members. Ask them how many times we frequent asking for those help. phone calls like three times a week. Barua tumechoka kuandika tumeinua mikono juu. Stamp zao ziko huko aizi sema wako pokea to get their stamp is a problem and we have we have struggled gone all those miles to get even stamps on those letters so ni either to watch a sheria ama waseme kutoka leo loa savana hakuna sheria kwa hivyo sasa tuende jangu kwa sababu pia NCA ameanza kuongoza watu waende jangu so a time has come you need to stop that we are very angry and a bitter lot some of us have sacrificed we are supposed to be working we no longer go to work some of us don't even go to work like three four times in a week wakishukurukia maslahi ya estate why it is easy but it has been made difficult by an mca so we need to know the powers of this mca and whether he's willing to do his job and follow the law na kitu ya mwisho tukifunga hapa nirudie achukue hokas awaonyeshe loa savana market iko wapi na waende waeke hapo na from today jakaranda port estate it is not a market si market si market ya loa savana juma tuko nazo watu wakinunua manyumba kutulikuwa na tunajua hili ni estate tunanunua hapa ni pakupanda maua hapa ni cho hapa ndio siwa line na pita hapa ndio drainage kulikuwa na maki kutoka kauti all that was there another last thing before i forget hii wa tunatengeneza tumefanywa cho sisi ndio cho ya hapa sabana ndio kitaka kukojoa anakuja na anakojoa kwa ukita yetu ndio kitaka kukika usiku hapa sabana focus focus wa hapa sabana ifikie hiyo magoba is a loa savana mca and shame on him that hapa savana kuna mca watu wa mc watu wa hapa savana wanachukua uchafu yao tutaenda round na leo nimeona ametumatuma watu kuja kusoma choma hiyo uchafu tuko na picha tulichukua picha mapema sana wanachukua uchafu yao wanakuja wanatupa kwa ua yetu kuna mavi kuna makojo kuna shelves kuna kuna uchafu yote ya hapa savana sisi ndio cho tunatupiwa hapo yeah. So a time has come. Yeah, a time has come and he needs to stop. We cannot stop him because we are titleless. We don't have titles. We are nobody. We are Kenyans. We don't have rights. But we have a mouth to speak. And now I'm a community leader here. I will speak and I will not fear him. 
Kuzua waka tumeogo, tumecho, tumechoka. Hatuto uzua waka tena. Na kazi afanye kadri na ile pesa nalipua. Alipua, ile pesa nalipua afanye wa Kenya kazi. Lo, especially lo wa Savannah, it is very dilapidated. Ebu, mtachukua video, mtoke kule apa Savannah. Calm down, look at the difference between apa Savannah na kutoka kwa ronda kwa kuteremka ukuchini. Na wote wanapewa pesa sawa. Kwa hivyo kutengeneza, hata tengeneza. Na kama wezi tengeneza, ache wale wanataka kutengeneza, kwa jitengeneze in peace. One last thing, nilukua ni mesahau. Kitu ya mwisho, niendele. Kitu ya mwisho, ki barabara, we, start, we started lobbying for this road. Five years ago. Leo ni mesema shida zote za jakaranda na anika. Five years ago. Tuka lobby hii barabara. Tuka fuata, tuka fuata, tuka fuata. MCA vile alikuja, akasema atasaidia. The last I heard from him, 20 million was given on this road. I updated you guys in the group twice. Tukambiwa, itaanza, itaanza miezi tatu. Miezi tatu nikambia watu, wata niongeze mwezi mkine, just in case of a delay. Haikuanza. Tukambiwa tena, tunakuja, iyo mwezi mkine. I updated them. Haikuanza. Nikaonyesho tumepewa mbaka 20 million ya ibarabara kurikape. Haikuanza. First to forward to date. Hatujui pesa ilienda wapi. The last idea, pesa ilirudishwa. Sujui kama unaeza, county naeza pewa pesa. Watume mbaka insilia on the ground. I waste my time kuenda round mbaka na insilia tukiangalia vile barabara itaundwa. Pesa tunambiwa zimepeanwa. Then all of a sudden, jusisi ni wajinga tu kusoma. Tukambiwa pesa ilichukuliwa ikarudishwa. That is what is happening in Jakaranda. And we are really fed up. Tuliambiwa tunakura, sisi ni wachache hapa. Eh, Jakaranda inakura. K kama tunakura matuna, sisi ni wakenya tulizaliwa hapa. Sisi ni wakaji hapa. And let me make one thing very clear. Jakaranda Court Estate is the mother of the so-called Jakaranda. Vile munajua Jakaranda. Na sisi ndo tumefika mbaka kutetea Kenya mzima hapa. Wengine wanaumia ujia Kenya mzima. We are their mothers. Tumeushi uku miaka na mikaka. Hawa ni watoto wetu. Tuta nyanyaso tena. Sisi ndi wazilishi. That is why it is Jakaranda. That is why it is known as Jakaranda Court Estate. So time has come. The MCA needs to step aside. If we cannot assist us, ate tupanye kazi yetu in peace. And us, sisi ni watu tumesoma. Sisi si wajinga. Kwa hivyo, aende atakua, atakute, mchinga yake aende atakute wale wajui sheria. Kama watu sana wambia wanakwa kukako na yoni shuko. So he stops. It needs to stop. Na kazi na zime panike. Na development loa savana. Na zima itapanika. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Asante sana. Uh, mimi naitu wa Nuru Okanga. Mimi ni mokaaji wa hii Jakaranda. Bati nyumbanyu ni Western. Na Jakaranda ni maali mejulikana atutakangi mchezu. Tukiona maali kuna mchezo, kuna ingia, kuna ziba. Mimi ni kapa, alikuwa ni mekaa po kando. Nimesikia mokaaji wa hapa. Hamejieleza mzuri. Na nimesikia uchungu sana. Number one. Katiba yetu ya Kenya inaeleza kina gaubaga, mzuri sana. Kuhu ulipigia upindani, serikali kukura, kuhu huku wapigia, lazima upate maendeleo. Mkuwe na kura, mzikuwe na kura, njuku mwemu siyewa hapa, kulete hapa maendeleo. Jambo ya pili, 